navigating current in series in parallel, voltage in series in parallel, and we'll talk about resistance as well. This is a nice little demonstration of what's going on inside the wires. You have amps, which is the thing that's moving, volt, which is giving the energy to it to allow it to go through, and the ohm, which is the resistor, squeezing it, making it hard for the current to flow. So it helps you understand that a stronger resistor means less current can flow. A weaker one, more current can flow. More energy, more current. Less energy, less current. So in a series circuit, we did this in the lab, we measured the current here, here and here, and we found that if we have a current flowing, if it, let's say it had two amps, it will flow in one path, one straight path. So this will also end up being two amps, and this will be two amps as well, right here. The current is the same at all points. So charge takes one path, and if it's a broken circuit, current will not flow. It will be a broken open circuit. In CDs, the current is the same at all points. Switching over to parallel, we realized, let's say current was flowing down this way, and if I had two amps, for example, and these two bulbs were identical, current will flow, and we have a junction. So maybe one amp can go this way, and one amp can go this way. It splits depending on the resistance of each branch, but if they're the same, then I can say that it'll be half and half. Two amps we had, so one and one. And so that means if you add up all the branches, you will get the total current coming from the battery. We looked over at the voltage in a series circuit. We found that if we had, I don't know, let's say 10 volts over here, and we checked the energy here, and then again the energy here, and finally the energy at the bottom, we found that the, each resistor is sharing this 10 volts. It will be used here, here, and here. So for example, if this one use, this resistor uses 5 volts, that means we have minus 5 from here. So I have 5 left. So maybe this one uses 3 volts. So if this is trying to share it, this is using 5, this is using 3, that means this resistor must use 2 volts. 5 plus 3 plus 2 equals 10. So they are sharing the energy. It depends on the size of the resistor. If they are all equal, then they will equally share it. Yeah, so that's another thing to think about. You'll do 10 divided by 3 and you can figure out what each one would be. So voltage is shared between the components in a series circuit. Very important. So the voltage is split up. And if you look at the parallel, we notice that the voltage, each electron passing through each of these bulbs, only needs to pass through one bulb. And even if I go down to the next branch, down here, he will only pass through one bulb. So each of these bulbs can actually take the full 10 volts, because there is only one bulb. It is not being shared. This path, there is nothing to share it with. So he will use 10 volts. He can use 10 volts. He can use 10 volts. You will notice that the voltage is the same at all points in the parallel circuit. So this is opposite of current. A couple of examples, looking at this one, this is 2 amps here, which means we will have 2 amps here as well. 12 volts from the battery, this one's using 3, they are sharing this, so that means this must be 6 volts. 3 plus 6 is not 12, so I am obviously wrong. So that will be, actually, 9 volts. Apologies. Uh, over here, we've got 6 amps coming out, and then we have two going this way, which of course means Mr. Fessel is going to be the professional with maths. This will be four amps. Four plus two equals six. Perfect. Over here, we have four. Let's just pretend it's coming this way. We have one coming here. They will meet and they will gather and they will go this way. Not that way. This way. And that's four plus one, which is five. Apologies for the small mistakes. I'm trying to get through this quickly. I don't want to make this a long video. Um, okay, so parallel, 6 volts. Remember, they are not sharing. There is only one bulb in this path. Similarly, there is only one bulb in the smaller path. So each of them will have 6 volts. Very nice.
Short circuit is when there is a direct path from one battery terminal to another, which basically means, let's say I had one of these, and uh, I actually drew a wire coming like this, and I cut across everything, and I went this way. Now I've realized that the current can come through here only. It will not go through any of the components because current is lazy. It will pick the easiest path. So if I end up shorting my circuit in any way, um, the current will go that way only. And it can be quite dangerous. Open circuit that's not complete. Maybe I missed a wire. A closed circuit is any of these, which is a complete circuit. EMF is another word that you might see. This is called the electromotive force, which is simply the voltage that comes from the battery. So whenever you see a battery, the voltage is actually called EMF. So, you know, it is V, it is volts, everything is the same. You will notice this will be sometimes called EMF, potential, potential difference, supplied voltage, battery voltage. It all means the same thing. It's the driving force. It is the energy that is given by the battery. And we will talk about conductors as well. You will see that if you have a, a conductor, like a, a resistor, following Ohm's law, it will make a straight line. Uh, voltage and current, if you calculate the slope, you will get the resistance. Well, it's a long straight line. However, you can sometimes get a conductor that does not follow Ohm's law, and that will be more like a, a curve, not a straight line. So this is ohmic, and this is non-ohmic. And then we were talking about series resistors. If we have two resistors, and they're connected to a battery, I did say they will share them. If they are equal, then that's easy. You can say, if I have 10 volts, then maybe 5 and 5. But if they're not equal, it might be a bit different. This kind of is self-explanatory. This is 7 and this is 3. The numbers kind of make sense. If I have 10 volts of energy, he will use more, he will use less. Maybe 7 volts will be used here, and maybe 3 volts will be used here. You can calculate it if you wanted to use Ohm's law. You can figure it out. Uh, if you wanted to use Ohm's law, what we can do is calculate the total current in the circuit first. You can do V over R, 10 over 10, 1 amp will be flowing through. And then all I need to do now is I could do V over R for here. I'm um, sorry, well, if I want to find the voltage, I can do V equals IR here. And I can do V equals IR also here. I could do 1 times 3, which is again 3 volts. I could do 1 times 7, which is again 7 volts. So by using Ohm's law, I can figure out each voltage that each resistor will use. Just to quickly recap what I said, I have to first know what the total current in this branch will be. I can do that by doing the battery voltage divided by the total resistance. The battery voltage was 10, the total in series you add them, so that will be also 10, 1 amp. 1 amp is flowing through. So if I know 1 amp is flowing through here, if I have 1 amp, and I know the value of the resistor, which is 3 ohms, I can do V equals IR, 1 times 3, 3 volts. Same thing over here I can do for 7. That's two steps. There is another way. We can use the ratio of the resistors multiplied by the supply voltage. That's another way to do the same thing, and it gets it done in one step. If I had my 10 volts over here, and I had 7 ohms, and I had 3 ohms, I can do the exact same thing. This will probably be easier for more complicated uh, questions. All I need to do is if I wanted to find the voltage across this one, I can just do my supply voltage. I can literally write 10 and I'll times that by my ratio. So I'll have a little fraction here. I have 7 out of a total of R1 plus R2, which is 10. So 7 plus 3 equals 10. If I put this in my calculator, I will get 7 volts. Exactly the same answer. And you will realize that it is one step. Easy way to do it. Okay, there's another example here, 12 volts coming from the battery, we have 3 kilo ohms and 1 kilo ohms, we want to figure out which this one is, we will do the same thing, 12 multiplied by 3 divided by the total, 1 plus 3, which is 3 quarters, and you will realize this will be 9 volts. Another thing is you don't need to calculate it again for this one, because of course the total is 12 and he's using 9, they are sharing it, this must be 3. You can just subtract 12 minus 9 equals 3. You do not need to calculate it again. You can, but no need. Okay, 
then we'll move over to resistors and series in the next video because this is already 10 minutes long.